Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and in this video we're going to talk about troubleshooting. So the most common issues and the easy solutions for them. So listen in front of you right now, you have the most common issues. Realistically, there are only two that people will experience, usually, and that's either the failure to pin create boards likes, etc., which is usually an account issue, or it's a license key issue which tells you, sorry, your copy is unregistered, even though you registered it originally. Now to deal with this one first, it's usually caused by either an IP mismatch or a connection error. So realistically, if you're ever doing server maintenance, you might get this issue, you might get this error uh, message. It shouldn't last longer than an hour or two, so be careful. If it's not that, then it's probably because either A, you have proxy settings turned on in Internet Explorer, and sometimes this happens incidentally without you knowing. It's caused by other applications who have control of your proxy settings. But to fix it, it's pretty easy. Just go to Internet Explorer, Options, Internet Options, Connections, and then remove anything you might have here. Unless it's your company's intranet or VPN. So delete any proxy settings you have here. LAN settings, this goes for this as well. Because if you're using a proxy, it may have trouble connecting to our server. And for security issues, we don't like uh, users registering apps through proxies or VPNs. Okay? That's the first one. The second one is the fact that you might have a VPN turned on before opening the app. Now, VPNs are very helpful to encrypt your connection, to encrypt, encrypt your network, sure. But if you have it turned on before opening the application, then the app won't register correctly. Again, IP mismatch. So turn off, the, turn off your VPN first, open the app, then turn it back on and it will be fine. And the third and final one is the fact that if you originally registered it through a VPN and now you're no longer using a VPN when you open the app, then again there's an IP mismatch and for security reasons it will not register. So if either of these things happen, not a big deal, just contact support and we will res reset your license and you'll be up and running in no time. Also make sure you check out our FAC where we have lots of information about these kind of stuff written down and that's at pinpioneer.com fac like so. In the meantime I'm just going to register this and move on to the next issue. Okay. Now the failure to pin create boards etc. So any actions. Usually caused by an account authentication issue. There's a couple ways to validate whether or not your accounts are valid. Um, the first one is to see whether or not your password and username is correct because sometimes things change and maybe you have a typo in your password or whatever and the program just can't log in. Now to check whether or not that's valid, go to Pin Pioneer, hit manage, click on an account, in this case one, two, and hit the account stats button. This will go ahead and try to retrieve back your account information. Username, amount of boards, amount of pins, that kind of stuff. Now if it can't retrieve your username, like so, that usually means it can't log in. So there's probably a typo with either the email or the password. In this case, the first one couldn't log in, uh, while the second one could. Okay? If that still doesn't work, so if both are successfully you know, brought back, both seem valid, your account might be in read-only mode. Now this is the mode that Pinterest puts your account into if it notices suspicious activity. And this is usually illustrated by a little message appearing at the top of your screen asking you to reset your password. So to fix this, just go ahead and click reset your password and type in the email you registered your account with. Of course it's up to you to remember what email it is um, and or to have the details of the accounts if you bought them from someone. Personally, I'd recommend you contacting the supplier of the accounts um, for them to fix it up, especially if you're using the recommended resource here. They have a service which unblocks the accounts uh, automatically and or manually for you. So I'd recommend contacting them if you purchase from them, that is. Now, the other potential reason it might not work um, is because either A, you pin too quickly, too much, and or you weren't using a delay. With Pin Pioneer, you don't actually have to use proxies that widely, but we do recommend using a delay and the scheduling features, like so. 
this makes it more natural, more human with your pinning. Um, the recommendations are 40 to 60 seconds for the delay if you're pinning more than 100. Anyway, but if you don't happen to do this and your pins automatically stop pinning, it gives you an error, log in and try to repeat the action. If you get a message, it pro probably say you've pinned too much or too quickly, etc. Wait a little while or use a different account and it will correct itself usually. Uh, finally, again, you can always look at the Pin Pioneer FAQ. This is available, granted it's not available on the home page, it's a bit hidden away, but this is quite good as it tells you, you know, what you got to do, how you, gotta, how you can do it, why, etc. Along with the limits. So that's generally the video. There's not much else to say. It's a very simple program. Right now everything works fine. So if you do experience any errors, it is probably an account, uh, an account issue. Look into that. Follow the guidelines. If you want this document by any chance, um, let me know and I'll shoot it over. Thanks so much. Tune in for our next video.